So hi guys, welcome back. It's the next day. It's a quick video. And as you can see, my hair is bigger. Um, I just put the hairband on for bed. And people would normally call this um, a pineapple. You know, when you like have your... Af it's like a massive... It's like a big Afro puff. Or it's, I don't know if it's an Afro puff or a pineapple, whatever. But anyway, people normally do this before bed. If they got curly hair and they want to stretch the hair... But they want to keep the curls. They put the hair up like this for bed. You can wear it as a daytime style as well. Um, I like to wear it as an asymmetric style. I used to wear it up um, before, and then sometimes what I do is I'll have the I'll have the band really low at the back, and then I'll just pull it all down, and then stretch it outwards. So it's like a back kind of gives you like a lion's mane if you like pull the hair down and out gives you like a lion's kind of afro, you know what I mean? But um, I'm kind of over this sort of look now, I don't really like it, I prefer like the asymmetric where I have the back really high, as high as you can until you get to the curls and then you pull it to the left or to the right and you have to pull this one down to the hairline so you get that volume. Um, I used to like having it on the left side but um, because I trimmed the, the, the damage off of the left side um, now the right side is longer, so now I have it on the right side, do you know what I mean? Gives that longer hair illusion. <laughs> it's just an illusion. So yeah, this is just to show the next next day hair, hair of the day. And, and I'm loving it, it feels really soft. And I've only used Mahogany Naturals so far on this hair. Um, you know, I did the, um, the Flat Twist Out the Mah Mahogany Naturals Manoi Healing Serum Oil. And then um, two days ago, I did um, a braid hawk with the Mahogany Naturals Daily Hydrating Hydrator Spray. Um, yeah. And that's it. And um, I, left those, I left those braids in all day yesterday. I was meant to take it out in the morning, but I didn't have time. So I was like, whatever, I'll just wear a hat. Um, you can see on Insta Instagram my outfit of the day yesterday. Um, I might try and put it in this video actually. I just I didn't I didn't remember to get someone to take a full length picture of me. But um, you know I wore my black um, Muzenua clothing, so I had like that kind of period Zorro black hat, and then I had like my black cape. Okay, and because my hair was in plaits, the hat could fit on, and you couldn't see any hair. So. That's the mysteries and wonders of Afro hair. You can make it look like you've got no hair, and then the next day your hair is massive. Like, oh my god, is that a wig? Like, no, it's my hair. So, um, I'm going to sing my song live, but without the rap. And um, I kept saying the other video, I forgot to put the link in initially. The song is for free to download from SoundCloud. It's on my Google Plus. It's going to be in this video in the description box. So, if you like it, you can download it, you can play it, whatever. I try to upload all of the songs that I create, but you know, sometimes um, there's issues. So yeah, <laughs> this hair is big, it's bouncy. And um, just goes to show that if you have lots of like fails or if you have lots of trials and errors, um, people doubt your skills, people doubt your knowledge, people patronize you because you're a male in a natural hair world. Um, you know what I mean? When your hair grows back, like two months later, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, like, two months ago, I cut off five inches, and, like, my hair still... My hair looks like I haven't cut it at all. You know what I mean? Like, it's, the volume is the same. So, you know, when people doubt your skills and patronise you and don't include you in whatever bullshit they're doing or whatever, or, you know, segregate you because of because you're a male... What... Okay, misogyny is against women, but what is the thing against men? What is a word when people are against men? I don't know that word. So I could type it in Google, but I haven't got patience. I'd like to, um, you know, the viewer interaction. If there is a word for men, in, you know, because women have misogyny. So what is it for? What is it for men? The men's version of that word. Yeah. What is that word? And obviously, because I'm black, it's going to have like noir on the end. I have to edit the word to make it noir on the end. So like misogynoir. So, I probably know the word, I just can't think of it, because I've never really had to use it until now, into the natural hair community, you know. 
So let's get singing and let's get voguing. And also, if you have hair accessories, this is this is a perfect opportunity to use a hair accessory, like a hair band or a hair satin. So yeah, I prepared this earlier. And I love this sort of look as well. It gives me that kind of late 80s, early 90s look that I always go for. Because really, I should have been born a decade earlier, so I could have enjoyed the 80s properly. But I was just a child in the 80s, you know, and children don't really pay attention to uh, pop culture and, you know, stuff like that until you get to your, like, preteen years. And there we go. I prefer, like, the green one I've got. The black is okay, but it's, um, you know, it's not as loud as the green one or the red one that I have. Bandana. Banuelo. De Carreja. So let's sing and dance to my new theme tune to the channel, okay? Um, this version now has no rap. I've already uploaded the rap version onto SoundCloud, so I'm going to upload this version also in case you like it better. Yeah, I've been trying to get like the music, like the, the, the theme, sorry, the backing track loud and bassy, but for some reason I haven't probably worked out the level, the volume levels, so it's not as bassy and loud as it should be, but the vocals are very clear and loud, so jamming. Sometimes I can be perfectionist. This microphone doesn't actually work because it doesn't, doesn't work with Mac, but I'll just pretend anyway. So, and I plugged in my Mac to my stereo, you know, I still have a stereo, so um, you're going to hear the music from the background. So I think we're ready now to hit it and dance. And you can dance. Okay, start again. Sometimes I get like um, moments where I, I want to make loads of songs and like recently I haven't had a lot of inspiration but I used to always make a hair song when things went wrong with my hair but as things are not going so wrong these days I'm having less things to moan and rant about so but yeah I'm just using the webcam so it's not like really high definition but if I just like move slowly you can kind of see Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know, obviously to maintain it, I'm going to have to, like, rebraid it maybe tomorrow or the day after. And, yeah. 
I just like it, like you know, like that kind of like, you know, eccentric kind of look. A H A. Tony Braxton. <laughs> so it's like hair porn two point zero, you know. A H A. And it's like overcast, it's not really like sunny, but still, the natural light is still better than the fake light. So I think I need to get a new lamp, really. I'm considering looking for one of those um, diva lamps, you know, the circle lamp. And I love how you, <laughs> I love how you can see it in the person's eye when they're recording video. <laughs> so, because the light is like a circular, so the light is all around, and obviously you get light in the middle. But it just kills all those horrible shadows that I sometimes get. And because, like, my teeth ain't straight, <laughs> no shade, sometimes, like, that's, that tooth or that tooth is in a shadow. It just looks so weird. I'm just like, for fuck's sake. You know, stupid wisdom tooth just pushed my teeth out of place. My teeth used to be perfect as a child. But as soon as those wisdom teeth came in, honey, they just start moving around. And it's like, it's not too late to get braces now, but, I mean, you know... You know, who gets, well, I know some people probably do, but I'm not getting those veneers and I'm not getting braces at 30 years old. It's too late. It's not right, but it's okay. Yeah. Ain't got no shame. Hey, And my mosquito bite, God knows how I got it in November, but it's um it's fading away now. And I don't wear makeup, and that's why I don't really care. And I'm going to shape this up, like, before bed. Cause I, I don't like doing it in the morning, because sometimes I just forget. <laughs> you know. And um, I was going to do the November thing, the Movember thing, where you don't shave for November. But um, I didn't... I, sh I was, They say the rules are you're supposed to clean shave before the 1st of November, and then grow your beard. But... I already had beard, so whatever. But I'm still growing it anyway, because I haven't had a long beard in a long time. Since winter, actually, last year. I mean, I just, I've just been trimming it. But I just love beard. I keep telling people, and I ranted before about some cows telling me to like fix my beard, shave shave my face. I was like, I've got hair on my head. I've got bit hair on my beard, my goatee. Well, I can't grow a beard properly. I can only grow a goatee and moustache, so... I've already spoke about it as well. I love the sideburns, actually. Like people, Some people say it's weird, but I actually love it. It reminds me of, like, a helmet with the um, straps. <laughs> yeah. I just love, like, the... Um, I was going to say synchronicity, but it's actually symmetry, although it's not actually symmetrical. But, you know, hair, hair, so... Yeah, so when people doubt you and they question you, like, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Oh, my God, oh, my God. And it's like, well, you know, I've been natural for, like, eight years. I already mini-chopped in 2009, so I'm not a stranger to cutting off damage. And I will, you know, I don't, ha I didn't have a relaxer, but I had heat damage. So, like, most people transition from relaxer. I was transitioning from heat damage, and people didn't understand that or wouldn't understand that or wait for me to finish transitioning to cut off the heat damage because if I cut off that heat damage when, when I got it straight away like a year ago you know I wouldn't have this length now because I cut my hair too prematurely do you know what I mean so yeah if you've got a method and you've been in the game for a long time and people question your methods because they don't understand your methods because they're not wet on your level just put them to the left because, you know, once you do what you gotta do, once you finish what you gotta do, what you were doing, what you're planning to doing, planning to doing, planning planning to do, when you do a fake accent and it just goes really wrong, then they're gonna be like, oh my god, how did you grow your hair? What did you use to grow your hair? I wanna grow long hair like you. How did you grow your hair? And it's like, well, you've been uploading videos for like, you know, eight years and every video shows what I've been doing or what you've been doing. So all you got to do is just go back and look at the previous video and then you'll be able to see exactly what I did to get to this point today. You know what I mean? A H A I forgot addictions. I mean, after all the trials and errors, my hair's still hella thick and long.
know what I mean? I did highlights, I did TMS system, I had to like rip through my hair with the failed paprika hair dye experiment. What else happened to me? One time I was washing my hair, I put hair bands in the back. I don't know why. I was like, let me try and wash the hair. I was trying to not I was trying to stop the hair from tangling when I was washing it one time. So I thought, oh let me let me like tie my hair in hair ties and just wash the roots and rinse it down. What happened? The ends knotted around the hair ties and then I had to literally just cut the hair. That I had like a couple of short patches at the back because the hair tie the my hair tangled around the hair tie when I was washing my hair. Never do that <sighs> again. You know what I mean? Paprika Gate. Um, I did highlights 2013. I did highlights again, I think, in the following year. You know, um, TMS system, you know what I mean? I just had to cut off five inches from the left side only because that's the only side that had damage. But I still consequently trimmed a little bit on the right side. You know, um, five, five kind of fail things so far that's happened in the past couple of years. But what? But what? But wet. Oh, I still got hair thick and voluptuous. Do you know what I mean? So, and it's continuing to growing. And watch in February. And watch in summer next year. And it will be double the length. And then I'll look back at the people when they were like, oh, why did you do that? You shouldn't do that. Why are you doing that? Why did you do that? That's not how you do it. <laughs> Do whatever works for you, like they always say. Do you know what I mean? I'm not here to force you to do what I do. I'm here to show you what I do. Because what I do works for me. And if I do something that's... What's the word? <laughs> Unconstitutional. Or what is the word? Unconventional. It's only because it's, it's to help me get to somewhere else. Or it's to help me discover or understand something about my hair. I never used heat protectant um of in recent times because i was experimenting and exploring and testing pushing the barriers of my hair you know after all that bullshit you know i know i know how long i can put a bleach on my hair after that trial and error with no not using heat protectant i know which products i can use before i flat iron or which products not to use at all or how you know if i don't use heat protectant at all i know which 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 temperature my hair can withstand like these are all these trials and errors and things that went wrong in my journey they are lessons to let me know okay now i know that do you know what i mean it's like when you're a child you don't know that if you don't hold onto the, onto the rail you're going to fall down the stairs when you're a child you don't know that fire actually hurts when you touch it you don't know you can get your finger trapped in the door until you get hurt by the door. You know what I mean? So it's like some people can tell you things, but you don't learn it until you've experienced it. I mean, you can learn it from from advice, but once you actually experience it, that's when you learn your lesson. And that's what that's what people say. Now you learn your lesson. Do you know what I mean? When people run for the bus and they fall off or whatever, whatever, you know, it's like now you learned your lesson. You know what I mean? Because someone told you to be careful, and then you just fucking you just carried on anyway. You just carried on, and then you got hurt. Now you learn your lesson. So, like I said before, you know, even with with, with education or that, like you could learn something, but if you don't have the practical skills in practice, when you finally go to practice what you learned, you still might you know do it wrong because you don't physically have the memory in your cells and your mind and your your being. You know, sometimes the physical learning, you know, is probably better than just hearing the advice or the lesson. So I'm kind of going off the track here, but yeah. How long is this video? <gasps> so hair of the day, guys. <sighs> oh my God. Let's play a bit more music. Quickly. <laughs> Oh. 